average, the averages. So if you're average, guess what? You're fucked. So how do you become? <laughs> if you if you're average, you're fucked. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my guys, bro. I'm genuinely. Yo, 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 Jason, back with another video. We got Andrew Tate Speaks Out. Let's go. But my shirt is like kind of oh, greasy. Not... My shirt is kind of greasy. My green screen is kind of fucked. But all right, let's go. So this is actually very, very exciting. Andrew Tate has been releasing a lot and Bro, a lot more on, footage finally. on his house arrest. And recently, he released this video that is super, super interesting. Yeah, guys, oh, chat, I forgot. I got strawberries. <laughs> Leave a like on the video and subscribe with notifications so you don't miss any updates. And yeah, just take a look at this video. Andrew, what do you think about AI? <laughs> do I look like I know about robotics and AI? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. Bro, I just turned Tate to a, a robot, bro. Yo. I'm top G. So people come to me and say, how do you think AI is going to change and shape the modern world? Well, I'll tell you what it's going to do. It's going to... All of the brokies, the brokies are in real big trouble. I'm going to explain to you why. AI, everybody's in, in its current form, is pretty basic. It can't replace people like me. Do you understand? When I see people on Twitter, there's people on Twitter. There's some dork, and he's sitting there, and his profile picture, he has glasses on, on purpose to look smart, I guess. Seven figure business agent. Whoa, yo, he turned to pudgy. That's pudgy Andrew. That's a pudgy Andrew. What the hell, bro? I'll teach you how to monetize your Twitter. I use Chat GPT to write the last four tweets. This editing is great, bro. Why am I getting an ad already, bro? Like one minute. To the I can't do that because there is no fucking robot. There's no computer on the planet which can be me. Do you understand? A computer with all of its fucking infant, infant fucking decimal computing power can't possibly come up with the brilliance that I come up with. No, really. We all know it's true. That's why I'm the top G. I say things that computers can't say. That's why I'm irreplaceable. Whereas that nerd, <laughs> he could probably get chat GPT to talk to his wife and she wouldn't know this. <laughs> You're probably more likely to get a blowjob if you got chat GPT to text his wife than if he did it his fucking self. Because he's a nerd. I'm not a nerd. I'm the top G. So when you're a basic loser, you have to be afraid of AI because it can replace you. I'm irreplaceable. AI's not going to fly in the jets. AI's not going to drive the Ferraris. AI's not going to buy the yachts. I have to do these things. That's my job on the planet. I have stuff to do. AI's not going to have 20 children. I have to do these things. But if you're a dork, AI can do what you do. And what's going to happen is, over time, as it gets more and more advanced, AI is going to be slowly attacking and creeping up and replacing all of the lower tier males. Those dudes down there at the bottom. Especially the ones who think they're smart. If you're a manual laborer, right? Man. Good. You work hard. I have respect for you. You're out there doing real work that needs doing. You're not going to be replaced by AI. It's those mid-tier office dorks. Like the Twitter guys with their glasses. I'm an expert on copywriting and I said, you're your <laughs> All right, bro. Excited, bro. Bro, what the, bro, what the hell, bro? <sighs> they're going to get wrecked. And they're going to get wrecked because that like? they're arrogant, they're lazy, they're fucking dorks, and they charge too much for the bullshit they do in the first place. And AI is coming for them because in every single organization on the face of the planet, and I mean every single one without fail because I speak in black and white because that's how I operate in reality. You have two oh, tiers of individuals. Two tiers of individuals. You have killers. You have the people who are extremely insightful and extremely intelligent and forward thinking and extremely hardworking and irreplaceable. Yes, sir. That's me. And then you have the mid-tier chaff. The guy who gets paid like 70 grand a year. He comes into work. He types. He does his job enough to not get fired, but he's never really pushed the company forward. If he disappeared one day in a boating accident, the company would continue to function just fine. He's just that guy. Those people are about to get wrecked. Because what happens is when you have a large organization, and I know this very well because I have a very large organization. Most people don't understand how many hundreds of people work for me. I will come up with a job 
and I will say, okay, I have this role. I can either find one killer to do this role, or I can find four to five mid-tier, mid-wit idiots to do this role. And killers are so that. difficult that to find. One. The often I have to take the role and split it into five and find five jackasses to pull off what one competent person could do by themselves. AI is going to get rid of all that shit. Companies are going to soon be killers and AI. It's just more efficient and efficiency wins. It saves money. You're never going to be able to replace the killers with artificial intelligence. Not for a long time. Really sure. I would estimate Murphy's Law at current computing power I think it would take 100,000 years for computers to reach my level of intelligence. <laughs> At least! Bro, why do you look like that? What he said? I think it would take 100,000 years. Looking at his, you thought he was a villain like shit? <sighs> Where's you nerds? He's already there. Chat GPT is texting your woman, probably right now behind your back. You probably decided to use it to text her once, and it got into your phone. And I ketoed you, and now it's famoosing her on the side. Before you know it, she's gonna be down the alleyway somewhere with some roboticized sex toy oh. behind your back. You didn't even know what happened. Bro, I don't even bro, I don't even know what the hey, this editing is like amazing, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna just say that now. But anyways, I don't even know uh what chat GPT is. I'm gonna look that up right now. Hold on, chat. I'm gonna play the video though. It's gonna replace you completely and utterly in all realms of your life. Chat GPT is gonna raise your children. That's what's gonna happen to you. It's gonna happen to me. It's crazy. Why they really have it? So AI is a genuine so threat to anyone who's- have it. What the hell, bro? Chat, yeah, I'm not downloading that to my phone, bro. What the fuck is that, bro? That's going, bro, hell no, nah, bro. Not operating at the absolute highest echelon of competency and capability. So if you're sitting here as a man, you go, how is AI gonna affect things? Well, for me, it's gonna make my business far more efficient. As AI proceeds, I could take maybe 40% of the hundreds of people who work for me and fire them. I can sit and go, I'm paying all your wages. And when you type something, it's not that different than when chat GPT types something. So you're gone, goodbye. But my killers will always remain. I will never get rid of my killers. I'll never fire them. They're always forward thinking, thinking of new ideas, thinking of new ways to do things. Those people are gonna be monumentally rewarded inside of my organization, inside of all organizations on the planet. You're gonna have killers. AI. Oh, that's sweet, All man. the midwits are going to vanish. I said a long time ago in one of my podcasts, I said, it's about to be have nots and have yachts. <laughs> and that's true across all have realms. Not. Oh, have nots and have nots. Y'all ever watch that show, chat? I used to watch that. I watched that with my grandma. That was actually a really good show. Can no longer just be a mid tier dickhead. No, real shit. You can't be that person anymore. Being the average person, the world is no longer designed. Who, bro, who would even want to be the average person? Bro, if you're just living, the, oh, let me just live along. Just, just, I want to be the average person. No, bro. As a man, bro, you're not supposed to do that. What the fuck? Bro, you're supposed to, bro, you're not going to, bro. Bro, hell no. Nah. You might get a, a couple little holes from the, from the mall, a couple, couple holes from the store. But that's not top tier females. Well, not even top tier females. There's very barely any top tier females. But top tier females in looks. Like, Bro. Accommodate you. Being the average person means you have to live in an area of crime. It means you have to operate within a realm where the government can destroy you. It means your job can be replaced by a fucking computer. It means your wife's gonna cheat on you with a robot sex toy in an alleyway. Being Wait, the job I'm doing right now can't be replaced by a computer, but nothing, bro, nothing, bro. Bro, what I'm about to do, bro, I'm about to, I'm not, I'm about to be working for myself, bro. Like. Real shit. Being you know, a normal dude sucks. You have to be the best of the best. Yes, you sir. have to yes, be sir. a feared opponent in all realms of human endeavor. People come to me and ask me a bunch of questions. They ask me about AI and a bunch of other shit. And my answer is always the same. Hey, chat, that chat, chat, chat. That's why I got this. That's why I got this. Hold on. That's why I got this, chat. That's why I got that. Shit matters to you because you're far too close to the mean, far too close to the average. If AI is being trained by all the conversations on the internet, AI is gonna end up as what? Average, the averages. So if you're average, guess what? You're fucked. So how do you become- 
If you if you're average, you're fucked. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm genuinely competent across all realms in a way that AI cannot replace you. Obviously, none of you could ever be me. Of course not. Let's not be unrealistic here. Yeah. But I think a varied skill set is the answer. I actually genuinely do. Because I think in my experience of life, when you have a very varied skill set, hey, you I, allow I, I, I yourself you to learn lessons. I look you want Kyrie to meet, um, Kyrie Irving to meet Andrew Tate. Or like for them to talk at least, because like Kyrie Irving is like trying to get silenced, but I mean, Kyrie, no, he's not trying to get silenced, but people are trying to silence him. And like Kyrie's still saying whatever the fuck he wants and he's not getting the vaccine and shit like that. So I wonder if they got together. Like I wonder if they ever talked. In certain realms, which translate so perfectly to others. I would argue a man who boxes professionally is going to be a better salesman than a man who doesn't. Because some of the lessons he'll learn from boxing in regards to hard work, into fatigability, the ability to get up and try again when he fails, all these lessons he will learn will translate into his sales work. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga got some big ass ears, bro. Like real big ears, bro. What the hell? Do you understand? You have to do things completely unrelated so the lessons cross pollinate. So you become such a unique, irreplaceable individual. That when a computer analyzes you from head to toe and scans your biomechanics, it concludes that you are- Yeah, bro, that's the end of the video. <laughs> All right, make sure y'all like, comment, and please subscribe. Turn on post notice, and I'm out. <laughs>